Air data probes have now been deployed, one on each side of the orbiter's nose. They have pressure, port, pressure ports sensing the impact and static pressure at various points uh, to provide dynamic pressure, altitude, airspeed, and Mach numbers for the onboard general pur purpose computers. We are now seven and a half minutes until touchdown. Discovery uh, just 19 miles in altitude. Six and a half minutes until touchdown. Discovery now 78 miles from Edwards Air Force Base in California. Fifteen miles in altitude. The weather continues to be very benign at the landing site. Long-range tracking cameras now uh, beginning to pick up uh, the first discernible image of Discovery as it approaches the landing site. Five and a half minutes until touchdown. Discovery about to go subsonic. Discovery, Houston, on energy, approaching the hack. No changes to winds or weather. For the crosswind DTO, we'll be late shoot deploy. Okay, we're late shoot deploy. Kevin and I have got our covers closed. Copy. Four and a half minutes until touchdown. Discovery flying straight as an arrow. Soon to go subsonic. 11 miles in altitude, just 65 miles from the landing site. Cutting through thin clouds, having crossed uh, the Los Angeles Basin, computers honed in on runway 22, the northeast to southwest approach to the three mile long concrete runway. Discovery approaching the heading alignment circle, that imaginary cone around the landing site that the pilots use as a point of reference to align their craft to the landing strip. Kevin Ford in control of the stick at this moment. Discovery now going subsonic, the fleet leading shuttle announcing its arrival at the landing site with a pair of sonic booms. The late afternoon sunshine gleaming off its thermal protection heat shield. Three minutes until touchdown. Rick Sterko has taken back the stick from Kevin Ford. The vortices off the wings, very obvious. Discovery continuing its turn around the heading alignment circle. 
aligning with runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base. Discovery, on at the 180. On at the 180. Slow, gentle turn around the heading alignment circle. Commander Rick Sterko will soon align Discovery with runway 22, time to touch down two minutes. Discovery, on at the 90. On at the 90. Houston. Discovery, we copy. This view from the uh, heads-up display camera, the same view that uh, Rick Sterko and Kevin Ford are seeing now that we're aligned with runway 22. One minute until touchdown. Discovery right on the center line. Moments from now, Rick Sterko will flare up Discovery's nose. Pilot Kevin Ford will deploy the landing gear. Pre-flare maneuver conducted. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Kevin Ford now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 22 at Edwards Air Force Base, California, wrapping up a 5.7 million mile mission to resupply and fortify the International Space Station. Tim Cobra home after 58 days in space. Happy real stop. Welcome home, Discovery. Congratulations on an extremely successful mission, stepping up science to a new level on the International Space Station.